Hey everyone, this is Walter, and we're back here to talk about another internet weirdo. I don't actually use Kiwi Farms all that much, mostly just to follow three people. Lucas Werner, Russell Greer, and the final member of the Unholy Trinity, Chibi, or Adam. He's less of a sex pest than the other two by quite a bit, so I thought people might just feel bad for him if I made a video about him, but I no longer feel that way. Let's just get started with the humiliation of Chibi. Adam is mostly keeping a low profile lately, but let's look into the reason why. On 4.20 of 2023, it seems something happened with Adam, who had been posting to a group for ColossalCon, an anime convention. I'm done. I'm not going to another convention. I'm done with cosplay. I'm selling all of it. I can't look at this stuff anymore. Well, we would find out why soon enough. Attention all members, we would like to remind you that sending unsolicited nude photos is not only inappropriate and disrespectful, but it also violates our community guidelines. We have a zero-tolerance policy for such behavior, and any user found to be engaging in it will be immediately removed from the platform. As an example, we recently had to ban user Adam for sending unsolicited nude photos. This behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. We take the safety and comfort of our users very seriously, and we encourage everyone to report any inappropriate behavior they encounter on the platform. Thank you for helping us maintain a safe and respectful community for all users. Yeah, that's rough. He got kicked out from the group for an anime convention for being a creep, and under his real name and personal Facebook page, not even his chibi. Holy shit, how rotten from coom infestation is Adam's brain? He has caught a gan doing degenerate shit to girls a decade younger than him? To people in his area, under his real clear name? It is incomprehensible to me how this man is not under mandated supervision of a legal guardian at this point. And he is like 32 or something. It's like what's my age again, but he's a decade older. No one is ever going to see my face on here again. This is goodbye. Are you okay? I've done something utterly unforgivable. I'm not going to show my face anywhere public anymore. I'm just going to stay alone and keep to myself. I'm a dangerous person. It's better that way. Okay, I know it's just dragging Chibi for this, but maybe he's taking it a bit far. He's A-logging himself, essentially. Chibi is wrong. He's not dangerous. He's just a fucking pervert that should be banned from the internet since he can't seem to stop himself from sending nudes to any girl he talks to. This is something like the fourth time his nudes have leaked, and the third time he leaked them himself for attention, so big deal at this point. I was nearly shunned from the Colossal Con Facebook group for the same reason, and I had to stand my ground yet again to prevent people from seeing me in a negative light. Wait, so he had to defend himself and tell people he wasn't a creep, and then he got called out for sending unsolicited nudes? Wow, I know my opinion of him would be pretty high. Obviously I can't show it to you, but apparently the dick pic he was sending had his cat in his lap. Right in front of the cat. We morning dick posed him? She climbed on me. I can't imagine the thought process. Women like cats, so put a cat in your dick pic. Shane Dawson must have been onto something. And if you don't believe me, check out this picture. That cat is apparently over 20 years old and has probably seen some shit living with Adam all that time. Well, let's look at his posting in the group. Yep, I'll do this too. I'm not going to ColossalCon this year all of a sudden due to work complications, but I'm going to try to make new friends. Name, Adam. Age, 32. Old and crying about it. Sign, Mr. Krabs. Location, Southeast Michigan. I'm Adam. Been cosplaying and gaming for many years now, and recently am pursuing moving to Japan, possibly, once I graduate with a bachelor's in game design, in a few months. I love cosplay and making props and I'm trying to get better at it. My goal is to successfully learn Japanese and make lots of Japanese friends. If you've ever thought of trying it, it's fun, but it's a very hard language. I'm a big fan of Pokemon, Kirby, and most things Nintendo, as well as Ace Attorney, Kingdom Hearts, Danganronpa, Persona, and Okami. If you ever want to hear about Japan or see what it looks like over there, let me know. I'd also love to arrange a trip for friends to go there. That's about it. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, I used to end all my sentences with exclamation points too, when I was in middle school. Yes, Adam Senpai, please tell me about your time in glorious Nippon. Tell me about streaming Mario Golf from the hotel when people were trying to sleep. Tell me about standing around dressed as 32-year-old chubby Joker. It's like he's trying to be a stereotype. And I find this post particularly cringy. So I know it's Thirsty Thursday, and I see y'all kings, queens, and everyone in between posting really sexy pictures and feeling themselves. Well, I wanted to take one, but I'm anxious as hell doing lewd stuff. So here's me drinking plum tea, because I'm thirsty. So there you go. He's anxious about doing lewd stuff, he says right before he gets banned for sending unsolicited nudes. 
Anyway, since he brings it up every two seconds, I guess it's time to talk about cosplay. Adam likes to dress up as Kingdom Hearts characters. In fact, his original online handle was Chibi Neko Demix. Demix is a Kingdom Hearts character he likes. Or some shit. Finally, I'm happy with this, being my first real attempt spiking a wig. Still can't feel Sora though, not sure why. Hmm. Adam, maybe cosplaying 14 year olds should be behind you now. But no, instead he decided that makeup was the way to go. No one would miss me. Here's a few shots of my completed Broxus cosplay, all put together, debuting at KH 20th. Adam looks very emo and brooding. Also comical, these Kingdom Hearts outfits don't translate that well to real life. Oh my god, this next part is killing me. He wore his wig to the airport for some reason. Presumably the same reason he tagged along on his mom's date in cosplay once. I shit you not. I roasted the TSA agent after one of them complimented my hair. The other one, an older guy, looked like he was balding. I told him I'd like to say the same thing, if you had any. The lady TSA agent cracked up and so did he. Today's a good day. Then he jumped on Discord to say the same thing. By the way, I roasted the fuck out of the TSA agent at the airport, LMAO. Long story short, he and another TSA agent complimented my hair and, well, he was balding. I said, I'd like to say the same, if you had any, that is. So he thought this was really cool, but people told him he was being a dick, so he backpedaled, of course. For additional context, the two TSA agents were both joking around, and the roast actually made the guy laugh so much he thanked me afterwards. They were both joking around, so it wasn't mean-spirited. He even thanked me for the roast afterwards. I couldn't fit everything into one tweet, so I had to add context in a second tweet. Definitely can see how that could have come off as mean-spirited, though. I just didn't have a way to fit context into one tweet. Just thought it was kind of a funny moment, and made me and a few other people laugh and smile. Good god, I guess he made everyone's day with this, uh, roast. Anyway, let's get to the event. Violin Gamer posts, Everyone is here. Chibi replies, Just got my bags, headed to the hotel now. I hear the hotel is scummy, so here's hoping it's not. Aha! Okay, Chibi, they said everyone is here. They don't need you. He quickly made several replies on Twitter, making it obvious he was trying to worm his way into this friend group. Now look at how unsettling his cosplay is with makeup. I'm not sure what it is, but it's very creepy when he does this. Just look at the picture of him accepting a prize. Ah, holy shit, I won. I won the cosplay contest for best performance. I'm shaking. Thanks to everyone who voted. You are so amazing. Imagine this is your sleep paralysis demon. You're welcome. Amazing food with amazing friends. I'm truly blessed. I added an arrow so you can tell who he is. I can't begin to express how much fun this has been. Nothing but good times with great new friends. And honestly, I can't wait to start streaming again and go back to making fun content for everyone. I'll be streaming when I get back and tell you guys all about my adventure. Violin Gamer tweets, I am so honored to win the speedrunning award for the KH20 Million Dreams Awards. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Chibi replies, You absolutely deserved it. I'm honored to be your friend and I have the utmost respect to the sheer amount of work you put into running these games. Thank you for getting me to the Kingdom Hearts randomizer community as well. Congratulations, man. My god, Chibi, get off his dick. What are you doing? I won something else for going fast in a go-kart. And then we got this amazing image. I just want to let you soak it in for a second. Okay, and then that led to Cheap Jack, which is this horrifying thing. Ah oh god, it haunts my nightmares to this day. I did my first ever escape room today, and it was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for doing this with me. That sounded like fun. He really hasn't improved that much at taking a hint since the couch incident, has he? I know I haven't mentioned it because it was a long time ago, but yeah, this is the guy from SGDQ who got told to shut up. I even drew a picture of it once. I hope everybody has a fantastic day today. I'm feeling so rejuvenated and re-energized after this weekend that I feel like I can take on anything. Less than 48 hours later. I'm feeling a lot of emotional pain right now, and the worst part of it is I have to keep it to myself, or else I will be judged for it. Wish I knew what to do about this. By the way, this kills me. Look at this screenshot of his Facebook friends. He's addicted to simping. And finally, I have a story to relate to you. It's a bit older, but it holds up, I think. Very late, but is there an archive of the Aquana Gets Cucked stream? 
I can't find the pictures right now, but it's the one with the pictures of him tweeting about working up the nerve to ask out some girl. Then later that night, she and some other guy are flirting on stream with Adam uncomfortably watching. I've looked before but never had any luck. Anyone have it? The streams are long gone, but I can maybe entertain you slightly with the full story. A few years back, he was creeping on Twitch slash eGirls as usual and he found one, Miss Funny Valentine, that responded, presumably due to him having 20k followers or a partner checkmark or whatever. He obviously quickly ramped things up and started smothering her with attention and did things like make her stream overlays with her name misspelled as Miss Funny Valentine because he is fucking brain dead and she didn't notice because she is also fucking brain dead. Anyways, he unsurprisingly pushed to fly out to visit her and she gave him an uh, okay sort of approval, and he fucking flew out to visit her. To make sure the internet knew he was visiting a girl, he decided that streaming with her as soon as possible was a great idea, and he fired up the stream all smiley and shit while she sat there petrified. As a defense mechanism, she then texted and invited over a guy she was actually interested in to act as a buffer, and they sat there flirting together while Chibi quickly turned as dour as possible, frowning and looking like the world's most miserable 3D printing cable salesman. It was surreal, and for some reason he kept streaming. This was all on her channel, so I really doubt anyone has the footage anymore. Chibi spent a day or so as a miserable third wheel after he cut stream, and then he went to the airport to fly back home. God smiled upon the world that day, and his flight was cancelled after he already arrived. He was going to be stranded there for like 12 hours or something, so he texted her to come pick him back up. And she didn't respond, so he took to Twitter to try to get her attention. She also did not respond there, and she never acknowledged him again. There is no word to describe that other than oof. Here's the picture that's being referred to, by the way. The plan is set. Leaving next weekend to visit Valentine Twitch. It is happening. I've never felt happier just talking to one girl. That date with Valentine Twitch was probably one of the best I've had. And yes, I did spend a hundred dollars on dinner for me and her. No regrets. I know how to romance. I just bought flowers and I'm about to take this girl to eat. Let's do this. No regrets. Later that night on Chibi's Twitch channel. Chibi gets cucked. If you guys don't mind, please don't ask me how my trip went. Okay? Oh boy, this is definitely the kind of shit I cover, isn't it? Anyway, I think there will be more of this, but that's about all the time I have for you today. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say about Adam or about my content in general, make sure you let me hear it in the comments. I'll be reading those. If you're new here, consider subscribing, because my negative number has gotten even bigger. Or smaller. Don't worry, I don't give a fuck. But big thanks to my generous patrons, who support me more directly over on Patreon. It's a huge help. Let me hear any suggestions on things I should cover, I suppose. Have a great day, everyone, and don't be too thirsty on Facebook anime con groups.